This is a presentation on the business value of information technology analysis. In this presentation, we will assess IT investment value by attempting to prove that investment causes increased total revenue. It is important for organizations to objectively analyze the business value of investing in IT. Investing in IT involves high upfront costs and the organization should therefore be objective and realistic in making an implementation decision. Many organizations have experienced IT system failures even after analyses determined the systems to be cost effective. But many organizations, however, have also experienced improved productivity and a return on investment from implementing IT systems. Thus, IT systems should be considered, but the current approaches to evaluating the expected return from an IT investment are limiting and can be misleading as these approaches rely on speculation. This presentation suggests new methods to evaluate the business value of IT based on observed and objective data. This approach can more accurately assist businesses in determining the value of IT investment. VISTA will be used as a case study to work through the business value of implementing an IT system. VISTA is the acronym for the value for the Veterans Health Information System and Technology Architecture. VISTA is a comprehensive health IT system that is centered around electronic health records. VISTA is used throughout the Veterans Health Administration. VHA is the largest medical system in the United States, serving over 4 million patients. VISTA is also the most widely used IT system in our nation. The data used for our analysis is from the Department of Veterans Affairs, provided on October 16, 2007, under the Freedom for Information Act. The data covers fiscal years 1998 to 2004. The second column in the table shows the budget of office information, which represents the investment in information technology. The third column represents the number of records in VISTA, which is used in the analysis as IT use. The last column shows the VHA cost per patient index, which illustrates the productivity and revenue. The first step in observed objective analysis is to prove correlation between increased revenue and IT investment. The second step will be to prove directional causality by incorporating a third variable, program use. These methods will be illustrated through scatter plots in the following slides. This is a scatter plot diagram relating revenue and investment cost. From the R squared value shown, 0.796, we were able to prove that revenue correlates to investment by taking the square root. Mathematical analysis will show the correlation between use of VISTA and investment shown in this graph. And it also shows the relationship between program use and revenue shown in this graph. The table shown here summarizes the correlation values calculated from the previous scatter plots. To establish a claim of causality, we need to establish sequence. We will now determine the proper sequence of events. Ideally, investment in IT resulted in increased use of VISTA and caused an increase in total revenue. This is shown in the first scenario. Conversely, Increased revenue may have resulted in greater IT investment and therefore caused increased program use. This is demonstrated in the second line of the table. The calculation that comes closest to zero will be the correct sequence of events. We see that the second sequence of events best fulfills the equation at zero, 0.11. Therefore, we reject the ideal first equation and conclude that investment in IT did not cause increased revenue causality could not be proved. In this example, we proved that the increase in revenue, as measured by decreasing index rate of cost per patient, is correlated but not caused by IT investment, measured by the Office of Budget Information. Correlation does not equal causality. There are some limitations, however. 
the data we defined as revenue, investment, and use may not be completely representative. Additionally, the data set is small and would show a more definitive conclusion if more years were included. The analysis relies on objective data and an organization must have substantial data from at least three periods to use this method. The relatively short period of time here could be limiting. The take-home message of this presentation is that business value can be more accurately assessed through testing for causality. By using observed and objective data, administrators can minimize the chance of failure in risky IT investment proposals.